What's up everybody? Welcome back to the tech space and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to shut down the Wi-Fi on any device that's on your network. So if you have somebody on your network and you don't want them on there, I'm going to show you specifically how to kick them off of your network. So that means your Wi-Fi, your router, whatever you want to think of it as, your internet, will, or you can shut down the internet of a different person. So you're going to be taking their internet and turning it off and I'm going to show you that it's working. Uh, by showing you my iPhone here, it's connected to this network, and I'm going to show you after we're done that it is disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. You're going to want to go to the link below, go to this website, and you're going to want to be downloading NetCut. Now, you just scroll down here, go to download NetCut, go to the Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 version, or Windows 7 64 bit, depending on which one you have. Uh, there's Net. Netcut 3.0 or Netcut 2.1.4. I recommend just downloading 3.0, no matter what operating system you have. So if you're on Apple, it may be a bit, a little bit different, but you know, just go to the Apple download if there is one. So once it's done downloading, go ahead and install it. Click on it. Click Run. Give it administrative privileges. Click Install. Let it do its thing for a second here, and then. We'll get this loaded up. So what Netcut is going to do again is show us all the devices on our network, and it's going to allow us to cut off any single one of those devices. You can either cut off everybody else on the network, cut off a single machine, or computer, phone, uh, TV that's on the internet, anything you want. Um, it's going to work. So you're just going to want to click Agree, Finish, Next, and then Finish again. Let it load up and you'll get this screen. So we are here on the website now and you can see all of my devices that are on my network. Now what I'm going to do to show you guys again is this iPhone I'm going to shut off of the internet. So we're going to go ahead and move this screen a little bit so you can see both of them. And I'm going to go to Dante's iPhone which is my iPhone right here and I'm going to shut it off the internet. So with NetCut again. I'm just going to move this slider all the way to the left and it's going to shut off the internet completely from my phone. Now you can also limit it by going halfway or third of the way or fourth of the way, whichever one you want, but I'm again shutting it completely off the internet. We're going to wait for it to load up here and see what happens. Now it is something again that you can use to turn off any device on the network, a computer, a phone. A TV and it works in about 30 seconds after sliding the slider all the way down you'll see that it goes into the jail side of the screen on NetCut and the internet will be shut off now it says I'm still connected it's doing loading here so we'll give it a second So as you can see, I still have four bars here, but I assure you that NetCut does work. For some reason, I'm going to go to try to get on uh, my Twitter account and see if that works. Let's see if it'll load the feed for my Twitter. So I'm on my Twitter on my home. Let's see if it works here. So I have the home screen up and I'm going to go up and it looks like it's loading. Well, of course, I have the data on right now. So we'll go turn the data off. And then try to load something. Let's click on this tweet. So as you can see, the picture is not loading up. Only thing that's loaded up was whatever was preloaded already on here. So I'm going to try to close this out. Go back to it. And let's see if we get connection here. So if that could work properly, we should have no internet connection right right now. So we're just troubleshooting, I guess, at the moment to see if NetCut is going to work. And it's not working. So I'm still gonna post this video because NetCut usually works uh, when I'm disconnecting devices on my network. But um, tag NetCut in it and show them that they probably need couldn't or fix some flaws within their system because it seems to still be working on the network. 
if I go back to settings, yeah, for some reason we're still connected. So Netcut is not working um, at the moment, but maybe there's some specific issue and maybe we can get to the bottom of it. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't, you know, whatever, but we'll try to get this fixed and Netcut up and running because again, it does usually work. Thank you guys for watching. Netcut does work usually. I know this video was sort of a bust. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm not 100% uh, backing Netcut because I, I'm not being paid by them. They're not uh, a part of this video in any way other than me downloading their software. But I'm just trying to say that their program for some reason is not working and is not kicking this phone off of the internet. Although it does work for TVs and um, like this Chromecast device, if I was to turn it off, it would more than likely shut off the Chromecast, but for the iPhone, it's not working. And I would like to know why it isn't working for the iPhone. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more content. I'll keep posting more content on this type of topic, um, especially around iPhones. Something I'm really starting to get into is posting iPhone content and Apple iOS content so stay tuned for my channel I have tons of different playlists on everything you could think of so just go check out my channel subscribe for the newest videos every single day and I will see you guys next time